morning guys Thursday morning half 11 and just a quick update on the tins uh, for the uh, the military theme bike the front fender is all done now ready to be primed so that's looking nice a couple of uh, couple of holes there where they had one of them fender extenders on it so obviously took that off I don't want that on um, filled it sanded it down wet and dried it down to 800 so that's ready all ready to go so I can take that down to him today with a tank so that's that done um, the rear fender uh, again I've started knocking it down a couple of places where it's blown. They always blow here, so I'll just expect this if ever you're doing this. Oops. Right at the front, there, right where it drops down, it's gone both sides. So I've got a bit of fill in there. I need a tiny little bit with some dolphin glaze. Um, and at the rear, obviously, that's where they always go. You'll know that yourself if you've got one of yourself round there so I've cleaned all that down sanded that back put a light flasher filler over that that's done the underneath again this is where they always go so you know here right up there where you bolt some okay that mounts to the frame it always goes there it's rusty but what I'm going to do with this is I've got some of that um, under underbody sealer so when it's when it's painted I'll, I'll eat it with that it ain't wax oil it's like um, I don't know what you call it just give me one sec I've got some here. oh yeah it's hammerite stone chip shield black so I'm gonna give try it with some of that first um, See how we go. On. <coughs> oh, hang on, I'm having a sneezing feet. <coughs> oh, damn me. Yeah, so I'm going to try it with a bit of that afterwards once it's been primed and painted. So uh, hopefully that'll uh, give it a bit more longevity than the factory paints because these do go. Um, okay, so that's just a brief update on them. So bit more work on this today that will be ready and I can get everything down to the painter tomorrow um, the tank and the two fenders um, bit of a treat for you today on the Bonneville on the on the America if you remember I did the carbs uh, the weekend Sunday um, I've bit the bullet and my mate Daz is coming today uh, to balance them for me properly okay save me faddying about I mean I, without the vacuum gauge you know, uh, to balance it properly, you ain't gonna get it cock on. So um, I messaged him last night, and he's on his way. He's gonna pop, and we'll get the bike outside, and we'll do a, you know, a, a bit of a video and information video just to show you how to do it and what have you. Uh, my advice to you, you know, if you've got the tools, do it yourself. If you're confident enough to do it, if you're not, just get it going. You know, does his mobile. Um, anybody who who's like in the West Midlands area who wants this doing the carbs balancing um, I'll put his details in the video or in the post on Facebook or whatever if you want to message him just message him and say you know come and sort my carbs out he does all makes a bike uh, bikes uh, it ain't just Triumph Bonneville America's he, he, do, he does them all so if you've got carbs on your bike he'll either come to you um, and strip the carbs for you or if you can get them off um he'll come and do it you know in your own workshop or whatever you know rebuild them clean them put them back on balance them tune them whatever um or i think you can post them to him so if you can get them off stick them in a box and whack them over to him um he'll do them at his place and then post them back to you all right so um i'm gonna crack on with this fender and probably in about half hour to an hour i'll start the second part of the video and we'll see how does um, balances the carbs on this 
but I'm so it's half eleven on Thursday. Uh, but don't think I'm a bum because I'm doing these videos in the daytime. I do work. I am a kitchen fitter, right? But um, I've got the plaster in uh, yesterday and today, plastering the kitchen out, and uh, we've got the uh, the guys coming in tomorrow to concrete a floor, and then I'm I'm back on back on the job Monday. So I'm just using what time I've got off my days off just to do these videos. All right. Plus I'm out here probably on the piss the weekend, you know, because it is Valentine's Day. I've got to take the bride out sometime, ain't I? <laughs> so, all right then. I'm going to crack on with this and then when, uh, when Dad comes, we'll do the other video for the uh, balancing of the carbs. All right then. I'll see you soon. Cheers. Okay. Right. We've got Dad here then, doing the carbs. Okie dokie. Right, so that's the carb tuna. Got to get that little rubber off here. Yeah, brand new on the side. Because brand new, they're a little bit tight, aren't they? Yeah. Um, yeah. It's bloody cold. It's a bit cold, isn't it? Oh, I'll, pull, I'll pull the door too. You've got to get the other one off. Yeah. Do you want me to? Okay. That's a better off than the ones there. Hold on then. Go. That one there actually. Also. Which one you want? The one on the carb. The one on the carb? Yeah. They're tight, are they? Yeah. Good That's what we want. So we're taking that off. Yep. Try and spin them a little bit fast. Yeah. If you can, but they are. Because they're brand new. Oh, these are the ones we put on the other week, eh? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> ah, Christ. Cool, get that off. Hang on. I'll put that there. Got your, got your pliers? Yeah. Got a little flat screwdriver there, isn't it? Look this. Good day, they're they're good, these. Yeah, proper good. <laughs> well, that's what you want. You don't want them to pop off, do you? No. Have you got a little flat blade? Oh, well, you do want them to pop off. Yeah. <laughs> when you need them to. I'll tell you what, if I put a bit of pressure yeah. on. That's it, I've you got, got mine off. Yeah, that's sweet. Yeah. You got that one off? Yeah. <coughs> no, I haven't, sorry. <coughs> oh, you ain't? No, no, no. Straight up, I sort of yeah. leave it from the bottom. Oh, I expect it to pop up. I should have got that one there. Just. Where we're at. Okay. Have you got them long uh, needle nose pliers still? Yeah. That's what I think.
now we'll start it again in a bit of film it like we've just started it I think. Well, no he will, no, I mean this is what people need to see. They need to see what's involved, mate, not just a bug wire bug, you know, it the fucking wrong way. Not, <laughs> not a 30 second video, I mean they need to see, you know, the work that goes into it to justify. Yeah. So basically that, that, that screw that you was turning there, that opens and closes the butterfly. Correct, yeah. The butterfly is inside the the car, yeah, doesn't it? Yeah, it's and it sinks up. So so you and obviously your your gauge there tells you how open or how closed. Yep, that's right. They are, and you just keep turning it and turning it until you know that them both butterflies are in exactly the same yep. position. And also just bench sinking them, you can get them completely the same, but it's down to valve clearances and all that on your bike too. So do right. it on the bike is the best way to do it. Yeah. Because obviously it will <coughs> while the bike's running. Bike's different. You could set you could balance them to another bike now. Yeah. Put them on this one obviously yeah. it depends on how everything's running inside. Yeah. Valves and how all the clearances are right and okay. how it's fueling there's dip, there's about yeah. ten different things that can affect it really. Sounds a lot better. So basically, I mean obviously your gauge there you can do four um, you, yeah. you can do right. four cylinders yeah. quite, yeah, so if yeah. you know people have got jigsaws or anything like that, um, or bandits yeah. that have got four cylinders, yeah, you can do all four. Yeah. So basically, what what Daz has done is he's obviously picked up the first two there, and he's run a pipe to each one of these nipples on the front of the carb there, right? That's obviously a vacuum hose which goes to that. Uh, I presume, was it mercury or something in there? Yeah, like a thermometer? Bars, yeah, just steel bars in there. Yeah. But they're replicating the mercury as the old ones. So, as these, uh, do them suck or blow? They suck, yeah, it's so, a vacuum yeah. sucks. So, as they suck on the on the front of the carb, that makes that um, yeah, go up and down. Like yeah. So, when them both suck in the same, yeah. right, it's like having a couple of twins eight in bed with you, you know. I mean, that's you need them to suck exactly yeah. the same, that's otherwise, you don't get the benefit, do you? That's right, exactly. So, right. Uh, so once you so obviously just tweaking that that Phillips screw yep. balances the, the butterfly. Now what about the the the, uh, the needles that off putting? Will them need any adjustment or? Uh, I think we'll, what they... we'll do once we get it balanced and we see how it's running. Yeah. We'll see what's going on there, and then we'll take it from there. If okay. Anything else needs doing. Okay. Cool. Well, if you've got like a bank of four, say I'm, you've got. Um, I'm going to film you because you 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 ain't you ain't been on camera yet. So, uh, right. Yeah, this, this this is our dad's. This is this is the guy who does the carbs. So, if anybody wants carbs doing, this is your bloke. Um, he's local. So uh, if you've got a bank of four, basically you've got more to it than just uh, two butterflies. Obviously, you've got four, so you have to yeah. do the two outer carbs. Get them First. balanced, so you get the. You class it as uh, two separate sets, basically. Yeah. So you balance that side, balance that side. Then you've got a screw in the middle, yeah. which will level them up and balance them two together. Right. Um, a lot of people don't realise that when balancing, they'll go straight for the middle one, then they'll knock it all out, so then they're right, fighting against themselves. Yeah. So on four cylinders, you always work from the yeah. outside inwards. Yeah. Um, either yeah, yeah, either side really. Generally, yeah. there are some bikes that you have to. There's certain models out there where you probably yeah. one and two fast or. Uh, three and four fast, yeah. and then you balance it up into the middle. But obviously, oh, cool. depends cool. on model. But these are pretty straightforward. Oh, it's just getting the two butterflies balanced. Uh, yeah, synchronized. yeah, balance. Yeah, so that, that that makes sense to me now, because obviously when I had it on the workbench, um, the butterflies. Because you use a feeler gauge, don't you? I mean, some yeah, guys you you use a pin, bit. a drill yeah, bit, a drill or, bit. So or a needle. Five mil drill um, bits generally. Yeah. The Heinz Bible tells you to use a feeler gauge. Uh, I forget what the setting is, but I can look that up and always make a mention of it. Two exact same proper good engineer drill bits. Mm. You're going to get a better reading. Also, if you're benching them, use the drill bits. Yeah. Go along them as you're balancing as you would on the bike. Yeah, yeah. Um, holding one drill bit on the butterfly to keep that open. The master um, butterfly you need to master carve you need to do that on. Which so is which like, is the one on the left on these on bikes? The, yeah, on the left on these ones. Yeah. Um, so basically then. Um, once you've set them there, I'll get a um, furnier down them mm. and then measure from the top of the carb to the bottom of the butterfly yeah. and make sure they're both level that way afterwards. Okay. But that gets you in the ballpark, you don't exactly get yeah. you. Like I said, it has to be done on the bike to be done properly. Mm. Yeah. Well, it'll give you five minutes to fall down and then yeah, uh, same. start again. But obviously, if anybody's got some and that, that, that can, if they ain't in the area, that can post them to you and you can do a bench top. Yep, yep, um, clean strip. 
synchronise, bench synchronise, as I said, it's better on the bike, but it'll get you where you need to be, and then if you've got balance yourself or you take them somewhere else, it's going to be pretty much way there. Mm. Yeah. It's, it's going to be rideable benched, generally, unless yes. your valves are completely out, and that's when it, a lot of people don't realise this. If your valves are out of spec, if your mm. clearance are out of spec, you're going to have a lot of problem with your carburetor, so yeah. due to the fact yeah, that obviously they're trying to chase each other, if the one's yeah. opening and closing sooner than the other, you obviously can get that. Just, you know. Okay, cool. Right, I'm going to pause it there while we have a drink. Tea or coffee, or do you want a beer? Coffee, please. Well, you ain't riding, am you? I mean, you might as well have a, nah, a drink, drink. Sure you sure? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, part two. Here we go. So we're using the uh, Morgan Carb Tune Pro. What we're okay. going to do, we're going to balance the uh, carburetors on the Triumph. Um, just got a synchronizer two butterflies with an aid and out for this. It's got gauges on there, so obviously you can see where we're at. Um, first things first, we'll hook up the old uh, tune. You need it to be vertical to get a correct reading. So if you can find a good point, generally the handlebars are good. So vertical as you can because if you've got it like that you get a, basically you get a false vacuum, reading you get a false reading it'll yeah. probably it'll start following itself up and just stay there start sticking okay. so make sure the carb cheats as vertical as you can get it now we've got <coughs> two cylinders on here two carbs so we're going to use the first two hoses to so first two gauges um, just before we start, we'll just make sure the gauges are free. Um, in the past, not this one necessarily, but the old one I had, the gauges will stick every now and then, so they need a bit of a, a shake to get them going. So what I'll do is, as what happens on the actual carbs itself, I'm going to give it a, a suck. Vacuum, give it a good old suck. Yeah. There you go. So that one's moving freely. That one's moving freely. Okay. Yeah. What I need to do then is if I grab. Number one, and obviously, let's just make it logical. We'll remove the nipple down here off the carb there for the vacuum. So the nipple you took off is the one yes. at the front of the carb? Yes. Okay. So then what I'll do is I'll place a carb tuner hose on there. Mm. Make sure it's snugly fitted. If it's not fitted correctly, obviously you'll get air leaks and you'll get an incorrect yeah. reading. So just double check. Yep, yeah, that's number one. And then we'll go right into number two on there. Number two. Just to make sure again. So if I'll yep, come, that's fine. I'll come down here and show you which one it is. So if you release it's, the nipple on the there's, your, there's your carb, there's the front. So, yep. so it's that if you rubber take that nipple rubber there. Off there yep. Take that off there. And then make sure that that's fitted correctly. Yeah, so that's nice and snug now. All the that way down. pulling off, yeah, all the way down. Otherwise, you're going to get air in there and you're not going to get correct reading. Okay, okay. Now, prior to fitting this, ideally you need the engine warm to mm -hmm. balance synchronise. Uh, we've already pre warmed the bike slightly. So what I'm going to do now, fire it up. Um, if it seems to be struggling a little bit, always uh, you can always, if you pull the camera over this side, I'll show you what we are just. The old uh, tick over the old idle, idle screw. The different on most bikes, but they're pretty much the same. You normally get a screw like that, so you can just hire it up, lower it down, okay. and that will just um, sort of tick over your idle up. Yep. Fire the bike up, make sure it's in neutral, obviously everything's supported. Struggling a little bit, yeah. so we're iron the revs up a little bit by the screw. That should be about right, I think. Obviously, when you're adjusting the butterflies, that can move a bit then. See, mm. a bit tight then. So, what we need to do.
Yeah, it was doing that the other day. Sunday. Yeah. And there's that Phillips, Phillips head screw. Yeah. I did you need a proper uh, carburetor to drive for mm. this jobby. But I didn't come equipped today. Actually, I might have one. Just give me one sec. The you one with the old fizzly nozzle? Uh, no. I've got a tiny little Phillips. Look at that. Can you get in with that? Yeah. So what Daz is doing now is is fuel adjusting um, fuel uh, mixer uh, screws, fuel mixture screws. Which are them them needles that are putting on the last video, the ones with the spring, the uh, metal washer, and the rubber O ring. And what We're it, doing two point five turns out. So he's tightened them all the way in, which is clockwise. Yeah, like seated. And then he's just marking it with a pen as a reference point. And he's going to turn it out two and a half turns. One, two, ah, okay, two and a half. You might have to take it out another bit in a bit. We'll mm -hmm. see where we are. Okay. Oh. I'm all right, I think. My... Yeah. So there's one. There's two. That's off. Okay. Right then. Now we can get back to the old balance. Balance. Balance in. Okay. Sounds, yeah. <laughs> right, so, I bet you've got no clear tube, have you? Yeah. You have. Yeah. So um, we've we've balanced it using the vacuum, vacuum gauge. gauge. Yeah. Right, so that's all set now and she runs a lot better. So, just bear with me and I'll get some. Clear tube, right. I've got some here. I've got right, some. here, mate. I've got, I've got a 4mm and a 5mm. I've okay. got one of each. Uh, sh -sh -sh -sh. Yeah. There's two there, so just, just use what you need. So, what are you going to do now? You're going to check the. 
float heights. Oh, the float heights. Yeah, by the levels. Put a tube inside a tube. Ideally, well, you've got a mark there actually on your float bowl there. Yeah. You see that line there? Right, yeah. That's where your fuel should come up to. Okay. Have you got a 3mm Allen key? Yeah. Uh, you want one of them ones? Yes, Can you get that's perfect. That's fantastic. Yeah, sorted. Right then. So we're going to do a float height this way. If the float heights are not right, we need to whip the carbs off again. Okay. Double check there. If I can get the fucking thing on there, there's no fucking room, is there? <laughs> Engineers, mate, engineers. I'm going to pull this door too, it's bloody cold. I've got the heater on, I've got the potato in bugger all. Being so cold. I'll get you. So that's spot on that side. So you're holding the pipe vertical. Yeah. The petrol goes into the clear pipe. Yeah. And it should. It should uh, lock off where it gravity goes. Gravity should should line yeah. it up with that mark that's on correct, the yeah. side of your car. Ah oh, right. I'll get you. Yeah, and that's not bad at all. Okay. There's basically a water level. Yeah. One trick I'd never. So stripping them down fast, just to check them. Um, if the one's off, then we know we've got to take yeah, them off. Yeah, yeah, of course. But I don't know. It sounds sort of like it was all right. Just mm -hmm. I think it might just fail. We might have overheated it a little bit too. But we'll soon find out. Test ride is the way forward. Yeah. Yeah, when it when it was leaking Sunday, when I found the leak, yeah. you know the rubber sheath that goes over that bullet connector, yeah. it melted it. The <laughs> petrol melted it, so I've got to get another one for it. So hopefully this side's easy like this. Like it was just, I think it will be. Can't can get, make it heavy. I'll rub when you get older. Fingers crossed. <sighs> I'm fifty, mate. Yeah, wait till you're more bloody age. Well, neither, man. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you. I bet you've had a better lifestyle than me, though. Hey. I bet you've had a better lifestyle than I have. Saying that, though, you fucking. I've got up to some shit. <laughs> <coughs> hey, we all though. Yep. Right. Let's come in here so people can see what we do. You got away with it, you have. Fair enough. How about that? You got away with it. Right, so I'll, ju I'll just explain the reason why you're doing this, right? Uh, Daz, Daz just said that when I rebuilt the carbs and I put the float bowls back in, that little needle 
um, that that I that I put on the float bowl when I put it back together. Um, you have to set them, right? Uh, they have to be a certain distance, otherwise otherwise one's higher than the other. There's like a little uh, copper tab on it, wasn't it? Little uh, metal tab, little steel tab. Yeah. So you you have to check them now. Obviously, I've got lucky because they they were straight out of the box, straight on, and and I'm right. So thankfully, we ain't got to strip the carbs down again. <laughs> otherwise, that'd have been more bad. I would have called you a fucking plunker. Oh no. Uh... <laughs> right. That tick over sounds nice now. Proof is in the pudding, test ride. There That's you go. Need to do, mate. Lovely. Test ride is the way forward. Yep. You'll know then whether it's right or not. Cool, mate. Thank you. That's brilliant. I've also left you that little bit of hose there, yeah? Normally charge customers £25 for no I'll let you off today. <laughs> See? <laughs> Good man. Right, so next thing is the, is the test drive then. I might take it out tonight, just go and have a blast around the block. Um, or go and have a point and go on the bike. I'll see. It's a bit bloody cold though, to be honest with you. No, you and, and, and I need to get these tins sorted for the painter. But uh, yeah, I might go and have a ride later. Right. Thanks ever so much for that, mate. That's been brilliant. No problem, thank right, you. Right, so guys, this is Darren Ely. He's on Facebook. Uh, he's the Carb Maestro. Maestro. <laughs> So if you need your carbs doing, um, this is the guy to ask. When this video is on Facebook, I'll tag him in it. Um, so if anybody wants to message him, they can. If it's on YouTube, uh, what shall I do? Shall I just put a link to your personal page on Facebook? Yeah, do, mate, yeah. And then they can click on that and then they can find you yeah, on Facebook that way, yeah? Yeah, nice one, thank you. Right guys, I don't know I don't know what time it is, it's about six o'clock now. So we've had a couple of hours on this. A ten but minute job turned into a couple of hours, but oh well. Ten minute job. <laughs> it's always the way. It literally is a ten minute job really, but you yeah. know what? Panic or rush. Sorted. Right guys, that's it then. So I'll get this video uploaded and uh, you can see the progress and I'll catch you later. Cheers. Hi guys. Okay, the bike sorted. Runs brilliantly now. Um, now Daz has gone and done the tune up on it. So, quick recap. Um, just to run through it with you. Obviously, what he's done, he's he's connected up the um, the vacuum uh, tester to it. That ain't mercury that that you see going up and down. It's actually like two steel. Uh, floats or something I thought it was mercury taint um, but yeah so just to give you a, like I say just to give you a, a quick recap of what he done the the screw in the middle of your carbs on the top to bugger to get to you, you've only got about that much room um, what that does is is your butterfly uh, valves or whatever inside the carb right that open up like that obviously that screw sets them so them the same balances them out okay so you know that when you twist the throttle they both go up and down at the same and they've got the same gap at the bottom okay so that's what that screw does um, obviously you've got your idle button on the side that, that you turn which obviously sets your idle you tick over so we played about with that a little bit um, and it was just a case of twisting that screw just to get the uh, the butterflies uh, set that balances the carbs the the needles at the bottom that you saw me install in the last video 
the, the little brass needles with the spring, the washer and the O-ring that you're putting from underneath. Um, what we've done is we've turned them all the way in right to till their bottom out and then we've turned them out three turns. It says two and a half in the Haynes Bible but we've done it at, at, uh, at three. Okay. The reason for that is because it's a 20 year old bike um, you bound the hole that the needle sits in is over time going to get bigger right so that affects the position of the needle okay you'd think it'd be the other way around you'd have to tighten it up to because the hole gets bigger you'd need the, the needle push further in but for some reason it don't work like that I don't, I don't know I ain't no engineer um, but yeah so what I'll, I'll just give you a quick um, walk around so you can see exactly what and where he, he put the different fittings so just bear with me one second I'll show you here we go okay I hope nobody's seasick right so we've got turn my screen round right that front rubber cover take that off and he attached um, the vacuum pipe number two to that one same the other side was number one and that's what gives you your, your needles your, your things going up and down okay that's what sets them he also checked it on the front ones to make sure that was fine it's still balanced out inside there I don't know if you can see down there there's like a little grub screw just at the back of that cable the back of the throttle cable I'll just about touch it with my finger that's what you turn. That sets your butterflies. Okay? That I'm inside here. Your butterfly uh, Yeah, I've got one up here. Here you look. Right. There. That screw sets them. Okay. That actually sets them. It's that screw there. Can you see it in the middle? So you move that in and out, and that's what it does. It balances them 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 butterflies. Okay, the, the, these are the sacrifices to the gods of speed. Um, answers on a power score, if anybody knows where, what that's from. <laughs> you don't get a problem. Well, you might get a lollipop if, you, if you're lucky. I never thought about that. Yeah, I've actually got a set of cards here. Um, so, that's your drain screw there. I would to take this off, really, hadn't I? And I could probably show you. I don't know if you can see up underneath there, on this one. That screw there, that's your needle. Okay, so you let that in and out. That's the one that you set at three turns. Okay. So, yeah. Them are just an old set, them are. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. So, obviously, I've, I've took it out for a, for a run, and she sounds great. Really does. Uh, I like that idea, what he said. If you look on your, on the side of your, um, carb, you got a mark there, just on the bottom float. That is the level line. I don't know that. That's the level line. So if you attach a clear tube to that, okay, and open that three mil um, hex head nut there, let it fill up with, uh, let it fill up with uh, fuel, and then you hold the pipe up like that at an angle. The the fluid that comes out can only go as far as that line or it should do if it's lower or higher then obviously you need that little flout adjusting on your on your on your plastic flouts you know that little needle that I put in so you need that needs adjusting it means taking the carbs out again um, but yeah yeah she, she runs great really pleased with it so uh, yeah like I said if anybody if anybody wants their carbs doing, um, Daz is your guy, right? His name's Darren Healy. He's on Facebook, right? So what I'll do at the at the end of this video, like I said, if it's on YouTube, shut up. If it's on YouTube, I'll do a link to his Facebook uh, homepage, so you can message him direct. 
um, if I, when I post it on Facebook, I'll just tag him in the post, okay? Because he's a member of a lot of the pages that I'm on anyway. So um, he's based in Bloxwich in the West Midlands near Warsaw, uh, not far from where I'm from. I'm in Willingall. Um, so if you're local, he'll come to you, right? Or you can go to him and, and drop him off. Um, He'll come to your house and he'll he'll work on your bike at your house. Um, if it's going to be a full strip like mine was, you're better off taking them off yourself and getting them on the workbench so he can work on them. It works out a bit cheaper. He, he'll tell you that. Uh, if you can get them off, great. He can do a bench top and then he can put them back on and set his. Um, if not, he'll come and strip them or you know do whatever needs to. If you just want them uh, balanced, obviously he'll do that. And it, it really is. A 20 minute job maybe 30 minutes and then you go for a test drive and you know see how it is um obviously we funnied about a bit here because i you know the, there was other things that i wanted to get right uh, with it um but if you're not in the immediate area uh, you can take yours off stick them in a box post them out to him and he'll give you a price and work on them at home and then mail you mail them back to you he does that and then all you've got to do is get them put back on and, you know, um, he can set everything on, on, on the bench. So, yeah, yeah, another productive day. So, that's that's the dirty girl sorted for now. I've just got to get her outside and give her a clean and put the bits back on and out. Um, and then what I'm doing at the moment, as I say, it's about quarter past seven now, I think, something like that, on Thursday night. I'm going to carry on working on these tins and get these ready uh, for the painter for tomorrow um, for the uh, for the military theme that, that I'm doing for the Alt for Heroes uh, so yeah uh, that needle screw just to show you I had a little watchmaker's flat screwdriver and I've literally cut that much off it you know the ones with the little twisty top easy so I'll just cut it so you can get it up underneath and you can turn it once it bottoms out and it stops put a mark on it where you can see it right and then it's like one full turn two full turn two and a half maybe three full turns that sets them needles it's a good good tip that is um, just a cheap tatty old screwdriver so yeah um, other than that Everything's working great, so uh, I'll crack on with these, and uh, I'll let you have a look at them when I'm when I'm primed. Okay then, guys, you take care, and I'll see you soon. Cheers, bye.